is Louis Hoy, and I'm the uh, Director of Business Development with AutoSim. Uh, what AutoSim is, is a medical education or medical simulation company, and we focus on two major skills. One is otoscopy, and the other one is now ophthalmoscopy with our new product, OptoSim. Uh, the AutoSim right here was the one that we started off with, and the idea behind it is to actually present a lot of realistic, or actually present a lot of real, uh, clinical pathologies in realistic ear geometry. The issue with otoscopy is that uh, we need to convert ourselves from using two eyes looking at large pictures to using monocular vision looking through a tinier field of view that is created by the opt opt otoscope and then also look at pathologies that are actually about a centimeter wide in diameter. So all, these, all three of these physical barriers create uh, the difficulties in otoscopy and so it makes it very hard for students to go from textbook learning to the clinic and the purpose for AutoSim is to actually bridge that learning gap by presenting this, uh, these pathologies in realistic geometry. While the student is using the otoscope and practicing their otoscopic technique we actually have the functionality to landmark and highlight very specific features uh, while the student is using the autoscope. So for example, what I'm doing here is I'm highlighting the light reflex and that square, that landmarking is actually visible within the autosim and the students can actually see that box within the autosim unit. Uh, the important thing there is that actually uh, the student, uh, we, we do what we call, we close that learning feedback loop. So it's a very simple concept where we know for sure what the feature the student's looking at and the student actually knows what we're trying to point at. So it's a very simple concept but it adds a lot of value in the learning process of AutoSim. Uh, the other cool feature of AutoSim is that six AutoSim units can connect up to one computer. So one instructor can actually teach six, twelve, or eighteen students. And that does two things. One, it it enables an instructor to scale up a very time intensive uh, and very hands-on skill to train. Uh, and so ultimately they save themselves quite a bit of time by scaling up this technique. Uh, the other thing is that by, by teaching these students on the simulator, you're able to standardize a lot of the content that you present to, instruct, uh, to, to present to the students. Uh, so what happens there is that the students will all see the same pathologies, hear the same message. Whereas currently, when students learn uh, otoscopy, they actually go and see a, a uh, they go to the clinic. A student may see a patient with one pathology, but you can't have 20 students stick an otoscope into that same patient's ear. Uh, and so AutoSim fixes that by allowing all the students to see that same pathology. What we have here is the OptoSim. It's our newest product that, we're rele that we've released. And the customers of our AutoSim product actually asked us to develop this. And after about a year of research and development, we came up with this system where, uh, an, where a student would use an actual ophthalmoscope with similar optics. Uh, and within the handle are, serve, uh, are accelerometers. So uh, as a student moves and moves the ophthalmoscope around, the movements are tracked by our system and then converted into uh, the software itself. So for example, this blue square here is the field of view for the student. And so as the student navigates and looks around the eye, uh, the movements are tracked and are actually seen within the autosim unit or optosim unit. There's actually, in this software, in OptoSim, what we've done is we've built up very he heavily the software behind it. So there's a lot of curriculum, there's a lot of modules, training modules for students to go through on their own to actually learn the skill and technique of ophthalmoscopy. So for example, here, if you look on the screen, we've got these big circles. What happens here is that as a student first starts off with the optic disc, and then they'll move up here, uh, which is the proper order to do an eye exam. And they're supposed to review this area for a while until it hits screen. Uh, and then they go to the next area. So based on the description here, it describes the area. And then within the autosim unit, there are guides that lead the, lead the student to different areas of the eye to do this proper, to do an eye examination properly.